So today I'm going to be giving you my final thoughts on my foundation shade from Dynair's new Airbrush Makeup line, Colair. So if you are interested, please keep watching. So the question you're probably all wanting to know is, would I recommend this product? Or do I like this product? Yes, I like it very much. And yes, I definitely would recommend this product. And here's a few reasons why. Now, as far as the staying power of Colaire, I think the staying power is great. I mean, and we're talking about on top of my oily skin. Now, with the Colaire in comparison to the Glamour makeup, I did notice that I had um, less oil coming through with the Colaire, which was really, really great. I did try it a few times without using a setting spray just to kind of see you know, how much oils would come through. And it was still less than what came through with my Glamour foundation, which I thought was really, really great. It also lasted from the moment I put it on to the end of the day. I mean, if I wanted to keep it on all night long, I'm almost positive that it would have lasted that long as well, which was really, really great. And as far as the finish, the finish, like I said, the first time I used it, it's just smooth and velvety and just rich. And I like it so much. I mean, it's not like a super matte finish, but then it's not like a super satin finish. It's like this perfect medium between the two that works really, really great even though I have oily skin. So I really, really like that about the product. As far as the texture, like I said, it was just smooth and velvety. I really, really love the texture a lot in comparison to the Glamour Foundation. Now I love my Glamour Foundation. I've been using it for a while since I first got airbrush makeup, but I really, really love the finish that the Colaire gives. I think it's just this really silky, sexy kind of finish to your skin that I didn't get when I was using the Glamour Foundation. So for events and, and things like that, this would be the perfect makeup to give you that smooth, soft, velvety look that you're looking for in your photographs too. Now, as far as the amount of products used, I did find that um, when I first used the product in my first impression video, I did use too much. I realized that after using it a few more times that I needed a lot less to cover my face, neck, and chest. I believe in the first video I used about six drops and that gave me a full, well, a medium to full coverage on my face. And then I added another three drops that covered my neck as well as part of my chest. And then I added another two drops to cover the rest of my chest. Now, after a few days of using the product, I realized that that was way too much. Um, now, when I'm using it, I only use about eight drops. And that eight drops is able to cover my full face, my neck, and my chest. Um, and just blend everything together, which is awesome because you know I can get away with eight drops. I mean, that's pretty amazing. With the Glamour Foundation, if I wanted to cover my neck and chest, it would take... Um, a little over 10 drops to, to cover everything. So eight drops is, is pretty awesome for me. Now as far as this shade, my color is normally dark golden beige. So the color that was recommended for dark golden beige was um, C130. And C130 happens to be a neutral undertone. And dark golden beige, you can kind of see that it's, it's a, it has a very strong yellow undertone. And um, as far as the way it looked on my skin, it kind of just made my skin look a little more tan than anything else, but it wasn't a huge problem or anything like that. I mean, I was able to overlook it. I still wore the foundation every day because it just feels so good on my skin. Um, so that wasn't that big of a deal for me. Um, as far as um, transferring, I didn't get any transferring at all throughout the day, even when my face got oily. It did not transfer onto my clothes or anything, and I really liked that a lot. As far as um, the product, I really do think that you should be careful how much you actually put on. Um, it's really easy to go overboard with this line of foundation colors just because it is so pigmented, and the color doesn't really show up until after it kind of sets a little. So you never want to really like, you know, concentrate and just because you don't see it initially, you keep adding more because when everything dries and when everything sets, I mean, it, it can look thick. It doesn't feel thick, but it can look thick and you don't want that. So definitely go easy on the polar and I really only think that you only need eight drops to cover the face, neck and chest. Um, so I would not recommend using any more than that. If you're only covering the face, um, try starting out with six drops or less. Go with less if you need more, 
add a few more drops and give a few more passes and I think you'll be you'll be okay. definitely think that it is a love it product. I absolutely adore this product. Um, Dynair definitely knocked it out of the park with this one. I mean, it's completely true to everything that they claim it was supposed to do. And I'm really, really, really happy that I decided to buy it on Black Friday while it was on sale, even though it doesn't even have to be on sale because I love this product so much that I would pay full price for it. That's how awesome this product is. Or at least from my own opinion, I love it that much that I would pay full price for it definitely recommend that you go out and try it or if you have it on order just know that you are gonna have like liquid gold for an airbrush makeup lover coming to your mailbox <laughs> anyways thank you so much for watching and I hope this review was helpful and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe